and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. Our course, A Sheath Dress with a Dolman Sleeve in 10 Days, is completed. And we've made a course, How to Make a Basic Dress. I present to you my author's course, Basic Sheath Dress. You'll learn how to make the pieces of the dress and the lining, learn how to make a set in sleeve, how to attach the lining to the garment, and to make the dress look perfect. Our training course consists of 17 lessons. Register by the link down below this video. Don't be afraid. You will succeed because we will be with you all the time. We'll be happy to see you at our online course. Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I'm your host Natalia and today we'll continue our skirt for Inga. First of all, I want to remind you that our A-line skirt is really similar to a pair of jeans in the upper half, some pockets, fly and reliefs from the hips. And also this long center part. I think it's similar to a pair of trousers. Last time we did the modeling of the skirt. Now we're making the mock-up because we decided to adjust the flaring and the length with Inga. You really have to ace the length with this skirt if you don't want to mess up the whole fit. We've put all our pieces together except for this little part of the pocket. I suggest making a pattern of the pocket bag the easy way. We'll just attach this piece as if we didn't cut it out and trace around the side and top of the pattern. Let's draw our pocket facing. Now we measure its depth. And then we draw the bag. This is one part of the pocket. We can do the second part right away, the one we sew here. A pocket once again. This part will have a hem. I will mark it with another color, like pink. It's better to make it bigger over here, because when people sit down, you can see the limit between the hem and the pocket bag. So it won't hurt to make it bigger. And you sew this part on top. Let's cut it out without allowances for now. We'll sew this to the main piece of the skirt. And this will go on top. We'll reshape the hem and add the seam allowances. When we cut the pocket, we mark the hem. Don't forget to add the seam allowances. Now we put aside all the parts 
include in this one. And start to cut out our scat. Let's add around a centimeter on the upper part and 0 0.7 on the pocket. We can have a 1.5 cm seam allowance on the side. And let's add the same amount to the relief so we can easily make corrections and adjustments in case we don't like something. Three centimeters on the lower part. So, we have a seam in the center too. As this is mock-up fabric, we won't cut out the fly in one piece yet. We can do that when we cut out the actual corduroy. It'll be more comfortable if the width of the clothes allows us to do so. We'll cut out like this for now and leave a centimeter for allowance. I think that will be enough. Here we marked where our slit will approximately end. We can cut a little notch. And our first part is ready. Now for the yolk. Leave a centimeter at the top. Also at the bottom. and one and a half at the side. Finally, one centimeter on the center. This is the side. We had to turn it over because it wouldn't fit alongside the rest of the parts the other way around. And we make 1.5 cm here. You can even draw the allowances. But I'm used to working like this. Here we're left with 2 cm. I think it will be enough. We're going to add 2 here because I think we're going to shorten the skirt a little bit anyway. As we started with the maximum length. Also one point centimeters on the side. Now we need to cut out the pieces of the back. We already have the yoke. The base piece of the back side. Let's draw the dart. It 
two centimeters allowance over here. Right, and also we have the slit. Let's leave three centimeters for now. Even if it's not that deep, we can always cut it down. We'll draw the slit right away. Let's start the cutting. 1.5, 1.5, 1 at the top and 2 at the bottom. Here we have 1.5 centimeters. One, and two over here. The slit. The central seam of the back is also 1.5 centimeters. I'll correct it a little bit. Let's go back to our pocket bag. We we'll mark the warp thread here, so we arrange it properly. And as a, this is just a mock-up skirt, We'll cut out this piece completely, respecting the warp thread. Later, when we work on the actual skirt, we'll do the hem in the bag. For now, let's add a centimeter on the bag. and a centimeter on top and one and a half on the side. Now we're going to tag this part on right here, so we can see the whole picture. Here we go. Our front side, the pocket bag, the side of the front, the back side with the sleeve and the yoke. So let's start with the front of the skirt. We won't glue anything in the mock-up piece. When we'll get to the real corduroy thing, behind the camera as I presume, we'll glue over the warp line, so our slit won't stretch. Also, we'll glue the pocket facing for the same reason. Our fly will be one piece, but it doesn't matter. We mark the undersides so as not to mix up the pieces. While the piece is folded together, we can also pin it. as well as the pocket bags. Mm -hmm. 
We just line the top and the side seam and pin it. I'll make a tag so it doesn't come undone in the fitting. We can also sew the sides. It'll be right here. Here it's a little convex and a bit concave on this side. Fold it together. We leave a 1.5 allowance. We can really stretch the fabric here because we have a convex line so it could tighten later. We pin just about the first half. It's very straight from this point onwards. We stitch it. And we'll check out what we got. Here's our sewn piece with pockets and sides. Also the slit. We didn't sew the small details entirely, because we'll do the folding of the bottom when we work on the side seams. Ok, that is our front side. Let's get our back side. We would glue the fabric under the seam right here. We glue one side fully and the other one for about a centimeter. Let's pin to avoid confusion. And make everything easier for us, we'll have a backstitch seam here. So let's mark it right now. We have a 1.5 cm fringe in the middle. If we want to know in which side do we glue the seam, We can pin along the seam, open it up and check that we need to glue the left side all the way up to this line right here. And we'll just glue a centimeter on the right side. 
so it doesn't stretch. I'll pin all the seams behind the cameras. Since it's just a mock-up, we don't glue anything. We need to transfer the dart to the other side and sew the yoke. I think it's clear, so we won't take any more of your time. I'll see you at the fitting, with the skirt all ready. Our skirt is done, that's the result. The yoke. We'll lose the sides a little. Do you like the land thing? Yes, it's perfect. The pocket will be over here. It's not really pretty at this point, though. We also want to move the relief line here and give it a different shape. And place a decorative pocket on this side. It's not done yet, right? Right. We'll do it right on the corduroy. Well, that's all. That's all our changes. Just loosen it a bit, changing this line. And I also want to draw the approximate spot of the pocket. Now that the skirt is on Inga, we'll adjust the shape later, that's it. Well, we were worried about the length, but it turned out that the length that Natasha cut out is perfect. And we also love the flare, not big, not small, just on point. We'll have to see how it looks on corduroy. Maybe make some small adjustments. We'll finish here for now. See you soon, watch the video and feel free to leave a comment. Really care about your thoughts. Goodbye. Goodbye. You have watched Natasha and Inga and all our great team.